Hey, my dear data friends, it's Nicola from Data Mozart. Have you ever had a situation where some of your report consumers ask you to change that visual from a cluster column chart to a line chart? Or to change the measure within the visual from sales amount to order quantity? Finally, let's say you have a Sarah, your colleague, comes to you and asks to remove the legend from the visual while your other colleague, Phil, wants to keep it there. I hear you, I hear you. We've all been there. We all had many situations like those. And that's where the concept of personalized visuals comes to the rescue. First, what is a personalized visual? Simply said, by enabling the personalized visual feature, you are giving report consumers the possibility to customize the visual and adjust it to their own business needs. If you have reshare and read permissions, when you share the report, you can choose to include your changes. This personalized version doesn't overwrite the original report author's version. The user who is viewing your personalized report can select reset to default and return to the author's version of the report. If the user has editing permissions, they can save your personalized version as a new report. Let's move on to Power BI and I'll show you in a quick demo how to enhance user experience by enabling them to personalize visuals in the Power BI report. Before I show you how to implement personalized visual feature, I want you to remember that this feature is not something you get out of the box. It needs to be explicitly enabled. From the Power BI desktop, I'll open the File tab on the top and then open Options and Settings. In the Report Settings tab, observe the Personalized Visuals property. It is disabled by default. So let's first check this box to enable the feature. You can also enable Personalized Visuals feature in the Power BI service. Click on the three dots next to the report you want to configure and then open the settings. Scroll down and locate the Personalized Visuals property. Again, let's turn the feature on. Great, let's now see the Personalized Visual in action. Once on the report page, I'll open the Format page pane. All the way at the bottom, you may notice the Personalized Visual property. This property configuration applies to the entire report page or across all the pages if you choose the Apply to all pages option. Report Reader perspective can be defined either as a default fields or model. If you create multiple perspectives of the report, then all the available perspectives will be displayed in this drop-down list. Explaining perspectives is out of the scope of this course, but in a nutshell, they allow for creating a subset of the semantic model based on the specific user needs and requirements. Let's stick here with the default fields option. If you need to control the personalized visual feature on a more granular level, on the individual visual element, you can do that by choosing the format option. And then in the general tab, once you expand the header icons property, there is the personalized visual property. And here is the personalized visual icon in the floating menu of the selected visual. Now, if I open the report in the Power BI service and click on the personalized visual icon, a new formatting window pops up and the user now have the full flexibility in creating their desired visual look and feel. They can easily change visualization type, let's say from cluster column chart to cluster bar chart, or add new attributes to the y-axis, such as model name, for example. Based on the visual type, different properties can be customized, like legend, small multiples, or tool tips in this case. Okay, let's imagine that I'm now happy with a personalized version of this report page. It would be quite cumbersome if I'd have to go and repeat each of these personalization steps every time I open the report, right? I have great news for you. You can capture all the changes you made and save this as a personal bookmark. I'll click on the personal bookmarks in the top menu and then select to add a personal bookmark. Let's call this one sales amount model. If I click on the three dots in the floating menu, I can additionally set this bookmark to be a default view. This means whenever I open this report, I'll land on the personalized version of the page. How cool is that? Let's quickly try it. Yes, as soon as the report renders, I'm seeing my own version of the visual. 
in case you wish to share the report with another user and open the share tab at the top you can send a personalized version by enabling the include my changes option however keep in mind that this will not override the original report version that already exists in the workspace last but not least if you want to reset all the changes that were applied click on the reset button at the top and confirm the reset action when prompted as you may see the visual we previously personalized is now reverted to its original configuration that's all folks if you enjoyed this video please make sure to click this like button down below also if you want to stay up to date with all the latest features in power bi and microsoft fabric make sure to subscribe to data mozart youtube channel see you soon